hello guys welcome back to my kitchen hope you're doing well today i'm going to show you how to make this delicious goat curry i have not seen it anywhere and i just came up with the recipe while just putting the ingredients together my husband called it addictive sauce so if you're interested in seeing how i make this keep watching first of all we're going to use goat meat and that's what I used for this recipe. We are going to season it with curry, thyme, white pepper, salt, beef seasoning, onion, add some water, cover, and allow it to cook till it is soft. One thing I have to say, I tried this sauce with rice, it was delicious, but I tried it with yam, you guys. With yam, it is a banger. <laughs> Since then I've been eating yam because typically yam is not like one of my favorite foods to eat But this sauce and yam it is a combination you need to try Once the meat is boiled you can take it out from the pot We're going to use the stock later but for now we want to fry this goat meat You can choose to grill it in the oven but I'm here and I'm big for flavor So I'm going to fry the goat meat in that oil so that I can use the oil to make the sauce I really don't like frying anything like beef chicken because it splatters everywhere so while this was splattering I remember that I bought one cover like that <laughs> so I went to bring it out from where I kept it and this is meant to reduce the splatter so if you see it anywhere you should consider buying it so you just cover the pan like that and it prevents more splattering what is going to give this sauce a lot of flavor is the bell pepper so this is green bell pepper and we have red bell pepper and we have some onion as well if you are worried like uh -uh, see, I mean, pepper, pepper everywhere see fear not these are not spicy or hot peppers this is sweet this pepper is very sweet you can actually eat it like this trust me so you're going to use this amount i use about three of each or four of each now that the meat is done frying we're going to transfer some of that oil to a wider pan and then we add some onion depending on the kind of meal you're making you can sieve out you see the little dark chunks of beef but i want them in my sauce so you just add everything so we're adding the green bell peppers that have cut into little bits and the red bell peppers as well i'm not adding ataro dough because we are going to be eating a lot of these pepper chunks and I don't want to somebody to take a bite and then just bite into pepper and you know I'm cooking for kids as well so I'm going to put my pepper later on powdered pepper you can either wait to put the peppers at the end where you can see the colors bright green red but we're not here to see the colors we're here to taste flavor you guys put it in the beginning and allow it to fry for five minutes you will begin to perceive this delicious aroma in your house in your whole space that is when you know it's time to add what the tomatoes once you add the tomatoes, you add the beef as well so that everything can start cooking together. This is also going to take maybe about 10 minutes, depending on how you like your sauce. Some people can eat it like this, but like this, it, is, it just feels fresh, raw. That's not the taste I'm going for. I'm going for something really cooked, really sweet. Now I'm adding curry powder, thyme, salt and white pepper to the sauce and then just stirring and allowing it to cook till the tomatoes has lost its sourness you know there's a way tomatoes taste sour or raw when you're still cooking it so till it has lost that now i'm adding some dry ground pepper because i just need a little bit of heat in this <laughs> in this sauce so yeah that's what i'm doing once it is cooked you're going to add the beef stock and you're just going to add everything you can also add more water so i poured in a bit more water so that i have a lot more sauce so you need to add water if not this thing is going to be like too thick not the way you want it so add some water i'm adding some beef seasoning because when i tasted it the beef seasoning in it was not enough so i decided to add that now i'm using corn flour i add water to my corn flour what this is meant to do is to thicken this sauce you use this in a lot of curries and it just gives it a nice texture, like a thick texture. 
try to apply it little by little at a time so that you don't overwhelm your sauce with this cornflour. As you can see, it has thickened up nicely and it is looking very yummy. I have a chicken curry that is kind of similar to this similar to this method i don't use tomatoes for that but this was so good while i was putting all these ingredients together the day i was trying it out i was like oh maybe i should add this it will work maybe i should add this it will work and that's how i came up with this recipe so i hope you guys try it i hope you enjoy it this is how you know it is cooked when the oil starts you know floating to the top like that you guys this was so delicious i had to make it twice this week already <laughs> I've made it twice this week already. Now this is the third time this video I'm showing you. So you can see if it's something very yummy that my family loves. I hope you give this a try and I hope you let me know how it goes. I'll see you in my next video. Please click the like button and subscribe. Bye! Mwah.